Hey everyone, welcome back to another High Banks Hunting Club video. So as you can probably tell by looking at the thumbnail, this video is about Lauren's buck that she shot last fall. And so basically what happened is if you follow the channel, you know that right away I shot my buck on opening morning. And then a few days later I shot a doe too. We made a couple of videos out of that. And so at that point I'm like, well, what do I do with my life? So um, I still wanted to sit. And so I kept pressuring Lauren, even though I kind of feel bad about it now. I kept pressuring her and I'm like, get a bow, get a bow. Like you're in the woods with me all the time. Just get a bow. And she was very, very uh, weird about it at first. Just wasn't used to it. And so it took me about a month, but finally I, I got her, I, we got her a bow and, and we practiced up and, and felt really good about her shooting. Um, I'm trying to make this kind of short because you know, th these talking points can get kind of long and, and ridiculous sometimes. So let's just, we're just going to cut right to it. But basically, um, took her out to some public land spots once she got her shot honed in. And we just didn't see many deer. So uh, fast forward through October of me persuading her. She finally gets her bow towards the end of October. Bryce shoots his buck. And then we're heading into the like prime rut. So we hunted prime rut. And, and we just didn't really see anything special. So... Um, you know, we, we knew that there was still a chance, but it, it was kind of winding down as we got closer to gun season. So anyways, weekend of November 13th comes around and we're like, let's just go sit at the bank because I shot my buck at the bank, Bryce shot his buck at the bank. And so we're like, all right, let's go to the bank. So we went to the bank, um, and you're probably familiar with that stand by now if you've been watching this channel, because I think a lot of the stuff that I've done has taken place there. Our, our first video of my buck. Anyways, we got out to the bank, um, got all set up, got Lauren's bow up, got ready, you know, the, the general uh, the general plan of attack. And so we're sitting there and probably after about an hour, I'd say, about an hour, we look down the trail and there's, there's a spike coming in. I can see him coming down the road and I'm like, Lauren, there's a spike coming down the road. Do you want to shoot it? She's like, no, I don't want to shoot it. Why not? It's your first buck. She just didn't want to take one that young, and that's honestly respectable. She didn't want to take the buck that was uh, that was a spike, and and so we we let it pass right through the plot. Um, he walked broadside at probably 25 yards, I would say, and he went straight through the plot and made his way out to that field, and and, and that was that for that deer. About an hour following, we hear some stomping off to our right and two does pop out um, one you know one after the other right off the trail coming out into that food plot and so you know i grab the camcorder and start recording these does well they were acting kind of funny and so they start making their way from west to east across this plot and they're acting funny and, and we hear a grunt and we're like okay it's on and so this buck comes in and he's following these does and he stands broadside for us but Lauren just wasn't quite ready at that point. You know, she didn't know the plan of attack for getting ready to shoot a deer. So at that point, she was just like kind of froze. And so this buck walks past. Uh, it was up until that point as well that we had some audio issues. So uh, after that point, the audio for some reason kicked in finally on the camera. And so with with that, um, and so with that as a positive note, I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut away. And, and just let you watch how that unfolded and then pick up back afterwards for kind of a little bit of an analysis of it. Um, and so, yeah, so I hope you enjoy that part.
You got him. He's dead. That's a dead deer. That has to be a dead deer. No, because it was stuck. Gosh dang it. No. I didn't know it, well, there was this door right here looking right at me. So there is somebody in here. What the heck? It's been a monitor. What the hell? I wasn't even nervous. I thought I was going to be so shaky. You're oh, shakier than me. I'm shaking so bad right now. I'm just concerned that you didn't get enough penetration. Yeah, maybe not. It looked like you smoked him, though. It felt good. Holy yes, shit. I felt so confident in it. Oh, my God. Why could I never get anything on video? That was ridiculous. Yeah. I want to call my mom. Can I use your phone? Yeah, go ahead. Now you're probably thinking another video where you didn't get the shot on video. And I know that was my stupid mistake. Uh, I put the camcorder on a, on a string so that if I dropped it, it wouldn't fall. And I honestly probably got more nervous than she did in the situation and I messed up and that's on me. But as you can hear me say in the video, it was a great shot. She put an awesome shot on it. And in the video, I was like, that's a dead deer. That's a dead deer. Cause I fully 100% believe that. And after I told her that, you know, she agreed with me, we gathered our emotions and we got down from the stand. And when we got down from the stand, we walked right over to where she hit it and there was good blood instantly. And we we're like, all right, this is great. So we followed this blood for probably 30 yards, you know? Um, and so we followed this blood for probably 30 to 40 yards and we're like, you know, we got this, this is good. So we're just going to go back and get Bryce in Kansas and bring him out here so they can experience this fine with us. Um, and so I had her do a good, a good old sign off. We headed back, got Bryce in Kansas. Um, we came back out and as soon as we came back out, we found the arrow and it was just completely covered in blood. It was the, the best thing we could have possibly hoped for. Um, and then the, the rest I also want to, to have you see unfold on video and that's where I'm going to leave this video. We got turkey season coming up. I'm definitely making a video for that. I'm hoping to get some really cool footage, a cool kill for that. So look forward to that. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you enjoy the remainder of this, seeing our excitement and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Let's go! You smoked that mother. Yeah, look at all that blood. Mm-hmm. Whatever, it's your first buck ever. Oh, you hit him on the other side. He piled up so quick. Holy cow! Well, mom and dad, here's your meat. <laughs> Dude, that makes our bucks first bucks look like little guys. Heck yeah, Lore. So this dude came oh, his nose looks all long turn it this dude came walking out just grunting up a storm at some does and he just wouldn't give a good shot he wouldn't give a good shot he kept walking along the bottom of the bank and he finally swung back around where of course we couldn't get him on video but she was able to draw back for her third time and smoke him it looked like a great shot i said that's a dead deer right away Good blood instantly. Got the boys out here to track. Can't see him. There's Bryce. Cans. Can't see cans really either, but it'll do. Lauren got her done tonight on a beautiful first deer ever. So throw some congrats in the chat. Like I said, when we were in the stand, this is huge. This is a huge first deer. Did a great job. This is awesome. We're gonna get him clean. But, uh, we're gonna get him clean back. <laughs> We're gonna get him cleaned <laughs> up. And we're off back. And yeah, he didn't go too far. No. Like 100, 100 yards or something like that. Maybe a little more. I don't like know. Like back to logging dam or something. Lots of blood, easy track job. Nice teeth, wow. Snow's coming down now. Should be a good morning for whoever hunts. Yeah. Nope. Put a snow on the ground. Two or four inches, Lauren said. Good job, Lauren. Uh, Thank you.